In just 52% of the countries, there's access to primary education. That's not enough. And when you look at secondary education, that percentage goes down. And once we get to education for all, we've got to talk about the quality of the education. But the bottom line is we've got to get more girls in school and they've got to have access to a high quality education. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be not just primary school, but secondary school, higher education, and a meaningful career. So I think the biggest challenge for North Carolina girls has to do with authentic leadership. They need to be encouraged to be brave. They need to be encouraged to take risks. They're not going to innovate unless they do both. And yet for too many of our girls across the state, they're worried about shelter and where they're going to spend the night. They're worried about safety. They're worried about access to food and access to healthy food and health care. And in North Carolina, we should be able to, as a community, to come together and address those challenges so that our girls can take big steps forward. Really what we're talking about is we simply cannot be willing to relegate people, whether it's because of gender or race or ethnicity or socioeconomic status, to a lesser life. And that's what we are trying to find solutions to. So I think um, we hear a lot about the war on education in North Carolina. I'm in schools a lot. And in schools, it feels like we're headed in a good direction. That may not be true in the court of public opinion. And it is important for our state to have a conversation about the schools that we want both now and in the future because we want teachers to feel good about the choice to teach in our classrooms. They are our everyday heroes. We want students to feel good about being a public school kid and we want parents to feel good about all the options that they have, whether it's to send it to a public school, traditional public school, charter school, choose to homeschool your kid or private education. But we have to come together as a state and decide that our public schools are important and that we're gonna connect our politics and our policy and what's happening in the classroom to have a system that all of us can feel good about.